shallow church that we're passing. Um, yes, pull right in the driveway and she can go and take the picture on the, of the front of it or just pull off the side of here and get the, get the dates up there. She's getting her right now. This is where I mean, is the Pine Town Realtor Building. And running in this curve is Fork Swamp, where we have been waiting and probably looking for the snakes and whatever. And right on the left. Yep. And That's on the new post office right On the right is the new post office. There used to be a store there. That was uh, was it Jackson store? Um don't think no, no that was right there. No. Um yeah, what was his name? It wasn't Jackson. Um I got to see the front of them to know. Okay, catch the top of this because that Jackson's that is grocery. Jackson's. That is Jackson's grocery. Uh, yes, I thought it was further back, but there, it's what that is today. And I remember when that was built. Now we're coming up on the old post office. On the left, and uh, this right here. this sign right here that says Cutler's Customs Creations used to be what was Aunt Pink's old store. Slow down, Bob. 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 Slow down, Did you get that back there as a Yeah, I did. Okay. All you got to do is point and I'll get it. You ain't got to tell me to catch this or catch that. This store here, my first remembering it, a Mr. Spindle, I believe, run it. A lot later. He was the last one that I know of that ran it. And he had a... It was not a grocery store. It was, uh, well, the sign says Antiques and Junk Shop. <coughs> this was... When I was just six years old, Mr. Braxton Burbage around this store and it was a real nice grocery store and that was during the time that everything was rationed you had ration tickets to get sugar with and lots of things that you bought because it was during the war time Later, Mr. Leroy Tetterton ran that store in Pine Town. building right there. This is a meeting hall, a meeting place. It's still probably a meeting there. And down, down here, which may, may have been that hill, or just beyond the hill here, was the train station. It's, it's been changed so much that, uh, oh, uh, yonder is part of the train, train back there. and the train station might have been on down there, let's see. Yeah, they had a depot along in this area here. Where the train station was. Yeah. 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 Y
train stopped and, and put off. Did you never get stuff back then? Uh, kind of like UPS brings stuff now. The train was doing that back then. Go through the Rip Highway and let's go back. Go right on this corner. On the right was the old uh, hotel. Mm -hmm. And I think the guy that ran it was Mr. Pete Milkberg, I believe. This is the uh, Pine Town Church of Christ right here, and uh, that has been enlarged and built onto. Right here is where I went to school. It, uh, we need to go across to that highway, okay, even if you turn okay. around and come back. Uh, right here, oh, slow down a minute. Where those windows are high up there, the auditorium, that's where the stage was to the auditorium. The window this way was the boys' bathroom. The windows this way was where I was in the, had my seventh grade classroom. Eighth grade classroom. Eighth grade classroom. Right down here on this end, was where that I had my first grade classroom and my teacher's name was Miss Iva Harmon. And she lived above. Uh, I know, but I wanted you to go on that place over there. Get that front of your where Grandma loves to talk to the Okay. You see where that door is? The window the other way uh, was the room where that your great-grandmother taught this ain't my project well anyway she taught school there and taught the fourth grade the lunch room was built on i was in the fourth grade 